What's up gamers, it's Absurd here, and I've got some tips, tricks, and general advice on how to prepare for the launch of Armored Core 6 so that you have the best gaming experience possible. Time is short until launch, so let's get right into this so you can be prepared. First, we have to deal with work. Stop talking about Armored Core 6 with your coworkers. You don't want the August 25th launch on anyone's radar, or it will be suspicious when you ask for the time off, which is the next step. If you are fortunate, you may have vacation or personal days that you can take off. But if you can't use vacation days, put in your two weeks notice now. Use the next couple of weeks to find a new job that starts in September. If you aren't hardcore enough to quit your job, start researching the disease you are going to contract. Don't pick a disease that the CDC might be interested in. You're not trying to get isolated in Atlanta. You need something fairly common that can get you out of work for a week without too much fuss, and preferably without a doctor's note. Practice your sick voice for that call in to your boss. You also don't want to take off starting on the 25th. Take off a couple of days early to be less suspicious and also give yourself time to prepare. Once you've got everything else settled, you need to pretend to be a rock star employee for the next couple weeks. Bring in coffee and donuts, show up early, leave late, ask for extra assignments that you really know won't get assigned to you, Make sure you have no pending deadlines or any reason for your boss to call you at home. You have to make them feel like you earned this time off. It will be worth it. Second, if you don't work, you might be a student. If you are lucky, school won't start until September, but if yours does, the previous advice should mostly work for school as well. You should have a syllabus so crank out as much work ahead of time as you can. If there is a limit to how many absences you are allowed, ask a friend to sign you in for lectures, or pay someone to sign you in if your friends are skipping class for Armored Core 6 as well. If none of that works, you may have to develop a sob story for your professors. It should be early enough in the semester that you don't yet have a bad reputation or you still might be able to withdraw from classes. Third, you have to handle your family. Like with work, you want to spend the next few weeks being the best spouse, parent, child, or sibling as possible. Take out the trash, wash the dishes, cut the grass, play with the kids, pay for dinners out. Your family will be harder to fool than your work or school, so don't try to fool them. Be clear that you will be no lifing Armored Core 6 for a few days, and do your best to earn that time. Schedule any birthday parties early. Your kids will love an early birthday. Make sure there are no scheduled family events during Armored Core week. If worse comes to worst, and there are already things on the calendar that can't be helped, you may have to fake a work trip and get a hotel for a few days. It will be risky balancing this with the tricks you pulled to get out of work, and you may get caught, but priorities are important. This is Armored Core 6, goddammit. If you don't live with family, you may still have pets to deal with. Hopefully, you only have a fish that you can ignore for a few days. If you have a cat, you will probably be fine as long as you aren't playing with a mouse and keyboard. If you have a dog, things get trickier. You might be able to leave the dog out in the yard with food and water, but if you don't have a yard, there's still the Dexter approach. No, it's not going to be what you think. Go to the hardware store and buy a bunch of plastic sheeting. You want to line your entire gaming space with the plastic so the dog's excrement doesn't ruin your floor when you forget to let it outside. I recommend buying some menthol vapor rub to apply under your nose. 
it will smell a lot better than your gaming space does after a few days. Fourth, you need to prepare your body and mind for this experience. Stop playing FromSoft games until launch. You want to clear your head of any expectations that could tarnish your experience on launch day. This may result in a lot of pent-up gamer hype, but it will be worth it to store that hype up now and release it all on the 25th. Similarly, refrain from sexual intimacy and self-massage unless it conflicts with keeping your spouse happy. The pent-up sexual frustration will fuel your performance in Armored Core 6. This will be a challenge. Beware of succumbing to your waifu operator while playing. When it comes to food, do not stock up on snacks. They have crumbs and dirty your fingers. In fact, it's best not to eat at all. Less frequent trips to the bathroom. And fasting from food is a religious practice that heightens your sensitivity to the spirit realm. Fasting will enhance the spiritual experience of Armored Core 6. When it comes to beverages, prepare a balance of water, caffeine, and supplement drinks like V8. These are rapid access fuel sources that keep you going while keeping your hands clean. Hydration is key and caffeine is crucial when it comes to handling sleep. The goal is to sleep as little as possible, but sleep is necessary. Your brain solves problems for you while you are asleep. How many times have you smashed your face into a boss fight for hours, only to one-shot it the next day? So don't be afraid of sleep. However, you can't spend all day sleeping so I recommend several 30 minute to one hour cat naps throughout the day. This will get you the sleep recovery you need while not eating up too much time. Caffeine should get you from one nap to the next. Avoid sleep inducing drugs like alcohol and marijuana. If you need to rely on drugs, I recommend coral. I hear it hits your brain with a pop and sizzle. You also need to stay fit and limber to optimize your performance. Learn a 5 minute yoga routine now and practice it. 5 minutes a couple of times a day will keep you energized and prevent cramping and soreness from sitting for hours in front of your screen. Be sure to integrate some hand and finger stretches. Finally, you need to prepare for the game. Subscribe to my channel and spend the next few weeks constantly refreshing each of my videos to fully immerse and prepare yourself for Armored Core 6. You don't want to take any chances in being underprepared. And that concludes my totally serious guide to preparing for Armored Core 6. Until next time gamers, abide with Rubicon.